Oh, we're back. Finally. Had some issues with OBS and the Elgato and couldn't get it to work. And then had to basically uninstall a bunch of stuff, delete a bunch of files, and then magic. All of a sudden, we're back. We're working. We're functioning. Hopefully. I'm, I'm hopeful it is back. Uh, still, though, I mean, something that I want to do in 2024 is definitely just stream more. Um, and I can't do that if I'm not actually committed to the grind. So, um, we're jumping into it. I mean, really, I don't think there's much to do. It's August. I, I mean, I think it's still the, the technically the, the summer transfer window. Right? Jump up until the 31st. Maybe we get an offer for, from one of our guys. Maybe we see a guy like Huerta get sold, I'm hoping. Because I fucking hate him. Um, he's just not my cup of tea, uh, mostly because I don't like giant pieces of shit in my tea, but, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at with him right now. Um, I mean, I want this guy to just have, like, way better stats before I actually bring him to the first team. I think I brought up two guys already, um... That was about it, and I have, I have no money to the team's name, so one of these guys either has to sell, or we have to somehow make some fucking money, uh, which losing in the preseason tournament probably wasn't the best call, uh, to be honest. I, I probably could have used that um, to my advantage moving forward, but hey, um, shit happens, I guess. Uh, we're going to jump into these drills. I hate doing these drills. I don't know how often I'm going to do them. I feel like they don't actually benefit me or the team at all, personally. Uh, I, don't feel, I feel like they don't do anything. Before, the trainings were cool because they actually developed your players. They actually allowed your players to, like, gain... Um, like XP and stuff, and like gain uh, attributes, but now that's not really a thing, unfortunately. So that's the kind of shitty thing. Like, this is a fucking. This is a center back doing these. And you basically have to hold on L2 the entire time. Because otherwise, it doesn't give you the double points. And you need double points the entire time. Because if you don't get double points and you don't get it... Before, you would basically pick, you know, like... You'd have four players, five players, all doing the same drill. But it was like... You know, overall, you'd end up having like 15 players doing the drill. Because you have five players doing each drill, you know, once. And then you'd be able to replay them. So it'd be like, hey, these players just did these 12 drills. And you're like, oh, that's sick. And that's it. Exit. It doesn't benefit us at all. Honestly, there's no point. I feel like that's the one thing that EA just fucked completely. The old system was way better. Honestly, if Henry Martin sold, I wouldn't be opposed. Could definitely use some other players in the meantime as well. We're in the Cat Dome. Oh, they're just going to run through me, aren't they? I haven't played this game in a minute, so I'm a little rusty. I do think, purely based off of rating, we should be winning more games. Now, is that true? No, it's probably not going to happen whatsoever. But one could hope. It's a dime. I don't know why Chavez is making that run in there. I also don't remember what my tactics are because I haven't played this game in so long. 
But the thing is, it's not like this is a game that I can just play, you know, like, in my spare time. Because it's like, I want to stream it. I want to... Oh, thank God they suck. I want to stream it. I want to show it. But at the same time, it's like, if I play on my own time, then that's, like, episodes or, or stuff like that that you guys are missing out on. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any part of the journey. Um towards us getting all this done, so. Oh, he's in. Fuck, I thought I had him there. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not because, you know, nobody really watches, but hopefully you can. I tried playing it through. I just didn't have the second. To do it. Really, the team's looking good. Um, I will say, I think what we need to be... Oh, that's a soft-ass foul. What we need to be great isn't a lot. Jeremy Pino. I have no fucking clue who this guy is. I have my own, I guess, like, series, too. Or not series, but, like, my own gameplay aspect of it, I think. I do play um, with, like, my favorite team in the game, like, on my own. Oh, that's the wrong player to play. Fuck. I do play with, like, m my own, like, club, my favorite club in the game, you know, and then try to, like, manage them. But I've, I've signed some of these same guys, not all of them. But, like, Chavez is a decent signing because he's basically an 80 rated. Um, even just to fill out depth. But, I mean, no crazy real signings uh, like we plan on doing here. Um, at least in this game. Well, I don't know why the fuck Gale came in. Oh, that's a challenge. Really, what I would love is, like, I mean, I think I was blessed last year playing this game because I ended up getting some outside backs that were, like, 50 rated. But because we were with them for four years, they ended up getting to, like, 75 by the time we hit the Prem. So they were actually, like, really, really good. Um, you know, and they were 20 years old. That's That was a hell of a save. Can we get this one? Yes! Oh, fuck my asshole. I thought that was it. That that went through the netting. I swear to God. That was a good ball. I don't know why my guy's stepping up. Spicy boys. Handball. It's PK. Chowers, I think, is the one stepping up for this. If not, I think it would be Martin. Oh, he, he fucking slapped that bitch. The thing with PKs this year is I, I, I like going top ins. I like going upper V every single time for them. I just feel like they're more easily savable. 
then low into the far post. Now, in reality, that that could be the case. In game, I don't know what the meta is. Wasn't well, Dale's on a run here? Oh, card, sir. Where's the card? Is this this is in the realm for for Chavez? No. You can't miss that. On the back post, he just stopped running. The thing is, I feel like if eventually we do enough of those, we're gonna get more handballs. Oh, Chavez, he fucking struck the shit out that one. That's a great double save. I mean, we're just fucking laying pipe on Swindon Town right now. I feel like we get countered every time. I would have cried had we gotten scored on there. But of course it was the 45th minute. We're gonna try to get to the end of the transfer window here. I don't know if it'll happen this episode or not, but that's what our goal is. I could definitely use some outside backs, I will say that. Ruiz is a guy I gotta keep on the team. He's 22 years old. He's like mid 70s player. I mean, he's a dog. That's a great shot. Playing great today. That's a big touch. I got quiet there just because I thought it was as good as done.
I'll imagine. They want me seven yards in the house. I'll try it. I'll put in Bobby Harrison. He is a player for sale. If anybody's looking to buy Bobby Harrison. I doubt Bobby Harrison gets old. Oh wow, what a ball. Oh, you dicking me. Oh, Bobby Harrison! I thought I was going to get a foul there for sure. I would have definitely had Harrison take it. Just force him wide. Let's get it out, thank God. I was like, they've had one one ball in, and if they would have scored off that, I would have been pissed. No fucking way. He takes a dive in the box and gets it. Is that Charlie Austin? That's Charlie Austin. Wow, what a fall from fucking grace. Wow. He's going right. Fuck. We've had like 30 shots this game. And we might just tie it. Because of that. Just beat him off pace, please. Nope. This guy's fucking rapid. Just take his legs out. Yep, yeah, give me the card. Give me the yellow. Give me the yellow. It's a yellow. Fucking Henry Martin just sucks ass. We just can't get the ball off him. He's giving them advantage here. They're gonna score win it. I just, I, I just can't. I'm trying everything. That's not the way I want to go with the ball, by the way. Finally. Thank God. I was like, you cannot tell me we're going to really bottle away this fucking lead. 2-1. That, that's game. <laughs> Who else but Bobby Harrison? I can't believe Charlie Austin's still playing. Guy used to play for QPR. I think that's what he's most notably known for. I mean, I think he made it play for like Swansea at some point. But I, to my knowledge, I mean, he's just a QPR legend. Like, he's just always played there. Two minutes 
Well, that's the game. I don't know. I genuinely want to know if there's actually a point to doing the practices. Because there doesn't seem to be one this year in EA. Now, in the past, there definitely was because it, it definitely boosted your players' like abilities and made them better in training and stuff like that. But with the coaches that you have now, like it, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not practical for anybody to actually go out and want to do the trainings. Also, oh, like, some of these, I fucking hate these post-match interviews just because, like, they're so generic based off of last year's game with FIFA. Like, come on. It says Van Dam hasn't really benefited. Focus on performance. Uh, you'll do for me. I think Van Dam. Supply changes. There's some more like Rogers as well. I mean, they're just players that aren't really going to play a whole lot. We're playing in the Carabao Cup against Molester. We might get our shit fucking rocked. Hey, crazier stuff's happened. We're playing at their stadium. Uh, Fatawu, I think, is, like, rapid as fuck. And Diddy is still there. Vardy's still there. Uh, Patrick Ricardo is still there. Harry Winks is now there. He used to play for Tottenham. You know, my girlfriend's a, a Tottenham Hotspurs fan, but, um, yeah, she's not expecting any rings anytime soon, so, Cass Cassidy, or Cassidy, pretty sure he was on the, like, Italian national team, pretty sure he played for Chelsea. Oh, I'm spamming for him to shoot. Way to fucking just launch that shit over, guys. Love to see it. We haven't made a single fucking goal. Oh, that's amazing. This fucking goalkeeper is on fucking crack cocaine because he's getting to everything. That was a fucking strike from Reyes. I really don't have any youth players that are, like, amazing. Um, Dylan Williams is back, so he's going to play. He's a guy who I think I'm set to buy him by the end of the season. He, he gets into the 70s, which is nice. So, 
I'm hoping I can get him to like the 60s or 70s by the end of the season. I doubt it. Um, Maya Gon's going to play over Labrovic. And, um... Nelson's going to play, of course, over that dude. And Kossi, I think, is a young guy that I hired. Not really hired, but, like, bought. Van Dam is 17. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. He's 17. Oh my word. And Kosi and Bishop. So these are the guys. Uh, Charlie Bishop's probably going to get sold off immediately. And Kosi, I have no fucking clue who he is. Van Damme's the only one like I see legitimately being on the team for a while. I mean, he can play right back. He can play center back. That's, that's impressive. I'm strong. I have no clue who this fuck is either. I think had I not gone out and spent every single dime that this team has on getting... I think we can compete, by the way. I know that might be crazy sounding. Like, I, I, I mean, I think we, we sit well with Leicester in some situations. Oh, no, give me out this fucking tactical view. Jump me into the game, boys. We're at the King Power Stadium. This stadium looks a lot cleaner than I think it would actually be in fucking real life. Their uniforms look gross, bro. Their uniforms look like just disgusting. They they look gross. I think are they Adidas tops? Like I get it. Like I rock with Adidas. Just these colorways with the lines that they have do not work for me. What a goal! Are they Puma? No, they're Adidas ones. I just don't rock with like that bold lining around the like the armpits and like the, the lower bit. One zero down. Oh, we're back in it. Literally. A bit two minutes later. Uh, what are we going to do here? Mavadidi is a wild man. That was actually a really good ball play, then. We're getting our shit kicked in right now. Oh, that never went out. I'm I'm I want to jump in. I don't know what the fuck this camera angle is. I'm not controlling. What the fuck is going on? I can't see shit. I'm on a side angle. I'm watching it from the side of the from the side of the view. I from the coach's perspective, I'm trying to control my guy. It puts me on the guy which the ball falls onto. 
What is this shitty? What is this view? Who plays FIFA like this? No one, because nobody fucking likes FIFA. What is that? That's the shittiest view I've ever seen from fucking EA. That's not even on me. You cannot tell me that that's a realistic angle for somebody to want to take. Can only see the middle third of the field and expect me to play the game. My guy takes a donkey ass touch inside of the box with Jamie Vardy there. That's just a ship off Martin. Ricardo. Patrick Ricardo is just everywhere. Ferreira. Ricardo Ferreira. This dude's like 39 years old. Get him out the fucking game, please. He's gonna be a shit. Yep. Just nothing on it. It's a guy named Iverson. What the fuck happened to Jordan Pickford? Handball. No handball there. Oh, fucking Ricardo Ferrer is going to run. It's a decent ball. I would love to say that my team has the capability to switch the ball, but there's maybe one guy in the midfield that I trust, and it's not even Chavez. My goalkeeper is sucking ass. That's PK. Chavez is standing there with his dick in his hand. What a fucking save. Zendaya's on the fucking touchline, which is fine, but you gotta check to the ball at some point, man. Or at least cut inside. Like, pull your guy somewhere. He just puts it 30 yards over. Is that Harry Wings?
I have no overlapping runner. I'm just getting my shit kicked in here. There's just no fucking urgency. Win me the ball, boys. We're out of it here. It's one and done. That's it. I, I just... There's nothing. Is in their house. He's just standing there. What a fucking challenge. Way to lose it, Williams. I appreciate that. Shoot the ball! <sighs> I, I like Martin. Don't get me wrong. He scores goals. They're shit goals, man. He can't tell me there's quality in the goals he scores. Rui scores. He's been the, the bright spot in the, on this team today. The only bright spot, I should say, on the team today. He's played incredibly well. It's just such a fucking aggressive pressing. I have no guy running in off the, off the back side of that. Which is really what you need, right? That ball goes out to the winger and you need a guy up the field running for it. Zendejas has got to be running out there. I'm sorry. It's just there's so many criticisms. It's not a great performance. And guess what? None of this is going to matter if we win the game. It's not. No, none of it's going to matter if we win. It only matters right now because we're not. Handball. What a mistake. Oh, wow. I thought about going center too. And I'm so happy I put that towards the corner late. Somebody stop, please. Harry Winks is in. Cassidy is out. There's no advantage. Oh, imagine.
Oh, I'm in space. That's game. That's game. Ruiz, way to finish it off. The kid does it. Huerta, these past two games, I will say has played amazing. Great save, my God. You gotta get it out. Just because a handball fucks us here. Great ball. Oh, Chavez, you dirty little fucking spicy boy there. That is just calm under pressure. That, that is stuff you wish for. Four goals in the second half. One thousand percent we should not be in this game. <laughs> Gonna be real with you guys. But I feel like we've just capitalized better on their mistakes. Oh, they're saying never been in doubt. Never a doubt. You hear that, boys? I, I just fucked it. I tried going short. Jamie Murray's gonna do that every time, especially against with the with an outside back that is you know like forty rated. Van Dam, I think, is going to have to start playing a lot more. Now, whether that's at the right back position, it might, it might be it. Might just have to be at the right back. Now, if that's the case, do we put... Because we have Gallardo. I think he's going to have to move in to a different position. Can you play center mid? Because Van Dam at 17.60 rated, like... I don't see a world where he's just not playing consistent ball. Oh, Ruiz, my star boy.
Luca Gale wants fucking playing time. Guess what, dog? You suck ass. I have a guy here who I'm paying a shit ton of money to play for us. Van Dam's just an interesting one. Could he make the move is my only thing. He's 17. Need development plan. Alright, development plan. He's got pace. Uh, for him to move to the center mid roll is going to take a fucking arm and a leg. It's just because I don't have coaches. Um. Yeah, that's really where I get fucked. It's just the coaching department, because I have no fucking money to pay anyone. Which is why the Care About Cup's so important. It's why those cup matches are important now. To win. Dylan Spencer. Let's talk. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Please, 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 just go away, Spencer. I don't want you on this team. I don't ever want to see you. I feel like Van Dam could definitely play that position. I feel like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put him at the right back position, and then in the center midfield, I feel like Gallardo playing Gallardo. Playing down to a 73 is still better than anybody else we have. Even then, I mean, I don't hate this. I don't. And then we bring someone up. I think Spencer... No, it was Gale that was bitching at us, right? How old is Gale? Because if Gale is young, that's going to definitely determine what goes on here. He's 22. His contract expires in 10 months, and he's on the transfer list, so. I mean, I'm not really, you know, he's not really in a position to complain, I guess. Um, I mean, this team definitely has a weakness in Van Dam playing in the middle there, but I mean, if I move him to the right back, he's just so much worse. Reyes actually gets a plus one at a right back, so. Gallardo already being down two, I'm okay with. Just because that, that makes our midfield just so much significantly better than anything else. And I have no clue what's yet to come. What are the standings looking like? Well, four and one. Take a look at the pre-match report. We're, we're significantly better than them.
What a tap in. Reyes is actually sick on these. Look at him. Look at him go. I don't know why he waits for the bounce every time. I mean, we got it. That's the important part. Down and in. What a guy. It's a goal. That's, that's a fucking sick goal. Yeah, smashed it. Um, uh, we're feeling very confident, honestly, against what? Gilliam? Yeah. Two more Quinn's games, I like that. Don't ever question my team's attitude. This is a good game. I know I just said this is the shittiest game I've ever fucking played in my life, but I meant like Gillian versus us versus the Wildcats. I, I mean, I think we're going to do well. Um, wish I could change it. I don't know if I can edit it. Um, to just have the team be Linfield here, but if I could, that'd be great. I think I just kind of fucked it and just can't have it be Linfield FC, um, which is weird to me, but I mean, at the guess, at the same time, there's teams that like have a name that aren't actually where they're from, if that makes sense. Like, I guess Manchester City, United, like, all those teams. But, like, Chelsea? Chelsea doesn't exist in London. That's not a real place. Like, like it, it, it doesn't exist. It's basically, what, just West London, right? Or something like that. But if you're in West London, like, more likely than not, like, if you're actually from there, you're more of an Everton fan, I guess. But I, I, it's all weird. Or Southwest London. However you, however you see the map. Um, this is going to be Timmy Rock. We'll probably rock this next game. Just wanted to do another quick video. Just so that, that way it was like, hey, I'm back. I'm streaming. I'll try to do another one tomorrow uh, after work. And then probably just grind out homework uh, through the weekend. But anyways, uh, that does it for me. Um, you guys have a good one. Peace.